welcome to a cat guild today we will discuss about angular 2 interview questions today we will cover pipes and forms so let's start with the questions so first question is uh, define pipes uh, with examples so pipes are basically filter or format uh, which helps to focus format or transform raw data and display to the user on the browser for example if you see uh, here uh, we have this name hello Ravid, rahul dravid so if we want to display this string as uppercase we can use the angular 2 pipes so let's check that we have this variable username and if we use pipe uppercase it will convert this variable to uppercase letter like this so now you can see if we are using uppercase it is converted to rahul dravid with all the letters in capital so we have different kind of pipes in angular 2 like uppercase lowercase date json and etc so if you see this date it's not readable so sometimes from the server we will get raw data which we need to transform and show that on the browser so for for example this date you can read like tuesday march 2nd 2010 with r minute and seconds and with the gmt and indian standard type so if we want to format this we can use this pipe to transform this data so let's say we have my birthday so if we use pipe date it will convert this variable to more readable form so if you see here now it's converted into march 2nd 2010 so in the third line we have formatted date like we have a date with the full date and you are converting that full date to the uppercase so we can combine multiple pipes in one value so for example if the date is tuesday march 2nd 2010 on all the letters in this date are capital now so we are chaining two different pipes here how do we call an angular 2 pipe with multiple arguments so for example if we have two different things in an html template and we need to pass that into our custom pipe so how we can do that let's see that for that we need to create a custom pipe we have pipe and pipe transform method which we need to import from angular core then we need to use at the rate pipe annotations and in this we need to provide a name of the pipe let's say simple pipe then we need to export the class simple pipe which implements the interface pipe transform when we implement the pipe transform we need to override the transform method here we have a transform method which will accept value and number of the arguments which you pass from the html so let's say we have argument one and argument two and we are returning argument one multiplied by argument two so in html if you see here when we need to use custom pipe you need to specify that name for example if you see the uppercase right so this is also a pipe name which is provided by angular now we are creating one custom pipe which is named as simple pipe so here we are passing that simple pipe with two parameters 20 and colon 66 so you can provide multiple arguments in that so let's say i'm providing here one more argument let's say it's a string value hello there and if i go back to the simple pipe in the transform method i can specify here the third argument let's say arg3 and which is type of string you can 
mention here or you can type any now if we need to show let's multiply by this and then plus let's say variable m equal to arc1 into arc2 and then return arc3 i need to change this name arc3 and then plus we need to convert this to two string otherwise it will give you the nan error to string let's refresh the page simple pipe expression expected okay return so you don't need to specify this now if you see here now it's hello there 1320 so we are passing three multiple arguments into the pipe right so we have a custom pipe simple pipe and then we are passing three argument in that so here you need to mention n number of argument if you want to use let's move to the other question how do we chain pipes chain pipe means you are integrating two different pipes whether it's a custom pipe or angular provided pipes so let's see in the first example here in html we have this date pipe and we have other uppercase pipe as well here so we are using two different pipes in one variable so this is called chaining of the pipes define pure and impure pipes there are two categories of pipes pure and impure pipes are pure by default so if you see this example simple pipe it's pure by default and if you need to make it impure you need to specify this pure variable to false pure pipes only are used only when it detects a pure change to the input value a pure change is either a change to a primitive input value like string number boolean or symbol or a change object reference like date array function or object angular ignores changes within objects it won't call a pure pipe if you change an input month add to any in input array or update an input object properly this may seem restrictive but it's also fast an object reference check is fast must faster than a deep check for differences whereas in the impure pipes Angular executes an impure pipe during every component change and detection lifecycle. An impure pipe is called often and often as every keystroke or mouse enter. With that concern in mind, implement an impure pipe with great care. An expensive long running pipe could destroy the user experience. So we generally use pure pipes and if we need to update a object very oftenly then we need to use the impure impure pipe okay, which directive are used in angular forms so let's say we have forms let's discuss about forms so angular provide us two different kind of forms directives like ng form so if we are using form we can mention that ng form directive here in the template or in the component file so if we specify this angular will know about that this is ng form so it will create the ng model inside that and whatever the operations you are doing in that particular form it will handle all the things so there will be a question like uh, angular 2 forms what's new and what's changed so now in angular 2 forms right there are a lot of things 
like we have template driven forms and reactive forms as well so template driven forms are as the name suggests are forms built entirely in your ui this is typical way we built forms in the past and is useful for building very simple forms in angular 2 there are model driven forms which are also called reactive forms model driven or reactive forms which similar to a template driven forms add an additional layer of complexity and functionality by having you to declare the model of the form in the component class so let's see the example of that form so if you see this simple form as you will we have this ng form directive and we are using ng submit also to submit the data of that form so in here in the component i'm using this on submit function and i'm passing that ng form here and we are just adding the console here so in the HTMLs, this form has one input first ng model and this ng model has binded to the name and the second has this last name and the button submit so let's see this running example so let me go to the component and I will mark this as none and let me mark this as block so that we can see the form element. So if you see here, I have two inputs, right? So if I specify any value here, adding any value, it would automatically come in this. So this is binded with that particular value. So if I removing this, if you see, I'm removing the first name so it's saying first name valid equal to false so forms also give us a lot of other things like validations submit part you can validate different kind of fields like email validation you can validate the text whether that value has a minimum value or maximum value whether the input is having the restrictions like uh, the characters like uh, special characters are not allowed so you can specify that validation as well so all these are come under the forms in angular 2 so for example this name is the required field right so if you are not adding anything then it will say this is not valid field so when you try to submit that form right so you can check that whatever the fields right are valid or not if they are not valid you can add any user message on the screen so let's see the reactive form element as well let me go to the let me see the validate here so i'm using the plunker to show you something this is the simple example of form validations here so here the green car name right so if i specify any name right if i'm removing the name of that car it's showing me the name of the green card is required so here is the validation and we are adding a message on the validation on user input so if i specify anything here the message will automatically go same with the color if i removing the color it will ask you to enter the color of the car so how to do this so let me go to the component in the component html file if you see here in the first component we have input field and we have ng model my car so we are just hiding one div here with the hidden property which is mapped or bind to the green car name so if the green car name is valid it will not show you this message here and if it's invalid then it will come here so same with the other property of color 
So if the color name is valid, it will not show here. And if the color name is the required field and if we are not providing any value in that, it will remove that error message. So these kind of validation you can add. There are email validation as well. You can specify that validation email and it will check the at the rate sign and dot com or whatever the domain name you provide. So you can create a custom validator as well as per your requirement. Let's move to other questions. How to validate form in Angular. So we already discussed about how to validate that, right? So there are different kind of fields. You can validate either validate individual fields on before submitting the form or you can validate after submitting when you click on submit you can pop up one message that these fields are required you need to fill that you can't submit without filling that so you can handle as per the requirement thank you